I have a confession to make. Back in high school, I failed ceramics. Yes, I had someone use my initials and I paid them so I could pass. And you know, now that I'm clearly more mature, I'm back to redeem myself. So let's go and see what happens. What? Kicking it with Kristen. Yeah. Kicking it every single weekend. Making new friends and doing all the trends. I'll be trying my best to test the new skills. All these hobbies, but you know that I will. Be sure to kick it, kick it before you dish it, dish it. Sit back, way back on track. Yeah, back to back. You know we're kicking it with Kristen. Wow. Oh my gosh. Kicking it with Kristen. What did I hear? Oh, hi. Um, hi. Wow. My name is Kristen. Um, hi, Kristen. Hi. Listen, I'm I have. Jeff. I, nice to meet you. <laughs> I have my own show. We love to learn new talents, and today was pottery, and I came here to show you my new pottery piece, and and well, it it broke. So you made this? Yes. Yes. It w well, it was so beautiful. When yeah. you were on vacation in Mexico? Uh, well... And you bought it from yourself for thirty nine ninety nine. dollars uh, Well, I don't know how that got there, but listen, I, I need to, to know how to make, make this because okay. I've never known how. <laughs> well, you know, you are obviously a bull in a china shop, and we can, we can fix some of that. Not this. But. Well, listen, I like to go big or go home, so we're not making a mug. We're going to make. Okay. Are you ready? I, I, I guess. Jeff, let's do this. Let's do it. All right, so I'm ready. I want to know everything about pottery. It's, it's a very hard talent, and you have to have good hands. And I do, so can you show me around? Like, uh, tell me everything I need to know. This is mostly what people want to do, which is wheel throwing, which oh, is what spinners. you're here for. The spinners. Okay. But I don't need tools <laughs> because I have Patrick Swayze's hands on mine. <laughs> now, a lot of things are here for texture and scraping and all. If you set up your home studio, half the stuff you need is in your kitchen already. Kicking it with Kristen. Hey, hey, hey. This is the most dancing I'll ever do. Woo, 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 woo. There's this area here, I call it the pit. This is my own workspace. I like it messy. What is this? And they're called pinheads. And I've been making these for about 30 plus years. They're just fun. Do you have a turtle? Head. Yeah, we got a couple of turtles in here. This is like an aquarium and a pottery place and a ceramic place and the scary head place. How many types of clay are there? The clay we use on the wheel it comes out of the ground, but it's actually a mixture of different clays and minerals that come out of the ground. Native potters in different cultures use the clay that comes out of the ground. They work it a little bit. I used to mix all the clay I used for probably the first 20 years. Now we buy clay pre-mixed, but it is a clay body. Clay itself comes out of the ground. We'll slap some clay on that wheel and you can go at it. It's not the first time I've heard that. Huh. Oh, look. Uh, what? Don't smell your hand now. That's clay that's become what we call slip. It's just at the bottom of a bucket of water. Uh, no, I'm not kidding. I almost threw up. Oh, there you go. Oh, my gosh. You wanted me to <laughs> straddle this. <laughs> well, this think of this as a back of a horse. I know how to do that. Ah! I want to make um, a teapot. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. Oh, okay. I want to make a beautiful vase. And I want it to be like this. I want it to go like this, and then I want it to go. Wet your hands. Okay. And wet the clay. Okay. There you go. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that just that's plenty. Okay. Anyway, okay. Now get the wheel going about half speed. It's gonna be a long day. Just go get some popcorn and settle in. Oh, keep leaning, lean further. Come on, lean, there you go. And look, see how it's kind of getting centered down? 
You look like you're jumping out of an airplane. I would never do that. We raise it and lower it. And now I'm going to try to center it on this downward motion. So I drop my hand to the bat, push the clay into it. There you go. Push now. You don't have to be gentle about it. Thank you. I just want to point out, this is not a technique that I start people out on, but since you're an experienced potter, uh, just kind of lift your elbows. Now that was an excellent Okay. Let's give it up for Kristen! Thank you. All right. Now it's got some nice form. And that is a well-defined vase. I think this is a, a, a pretty much finished piece. Right now it's wet. So we let it partially dry to where it's called leather hard. Okay. And that's the state we can trim it, we can carve in it and all that. Then we let it dry completely. That's called greenware. Then we fire it to about 1940 Fahrenheit and it's bisqueware. And at that point, no matter how much you grind it up, it'll never be workable clay again. So it's not considered pottery <laughs> until you put it in the kiln. 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 It comes out and it's kind of orange colored and then we put some glaze on it and it looks real dull and yuck and then it comes out of the kiln and it's bright and pretty and all that. Thank you so much You're for today. You're I, I honestly feel a lot better about myself and I think my well, friends at home. I hope your friends at home dug it. Had a good time watching you. We cannot wait to see all of your pottery work. So make sure you tag us at Kicking It With Kristen TV and Third Street Clayworks. I know a lot of you at home want to show me your work of your pottery, your ceramics, and you may be thinking, I don't have one of those spinny wheel things. Well, neither do I. So I went to my local art store and I found this air dry clay. You can get it from Michaels, you can get it from Amazon, you can get it everywhere. The most creative idea that someone makes out of this is going to get a special shout out and I'm going to post and repost and share it all over with the world what you made. So good luck to you and be creative. Thank you guys so much for joining me for the pottery episode of Kicking It With Kristen. I can't wait to see you next time. Bart and I say, see you later. Bye. To the kiln we go!